Oh, hey guys. So, this video is a bit late. Because uh, I've been meaning to do this for, fuck, like four, five, six weeks now. Just things happen in October, been busy also, and also, I need, these videos require energy to make. Uh, but, it's been over a year since I've been here. You know, John Kirshner. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this for more, like, a, uh, also like a neutral point of view, um, meaning like you could also apply it for company. I'm least per I am a lease, like I'm a lease purchase guy, but they also have company drivers now. So, uh, well, again, they had them, then they got rid of them, now they have them again. Uh, for like eight, nine months now. So, no, seven, six or seven months now, something like that. Uh, which that starts at fifty. 50 cents, 55 cents for a team, so, but you also, depending on how much, uh, how much experience you got, uh, and then you get like th three or four cents over your first year or two, who's paid, but just so keep that in mind. So, uh, let's see, I, I came here like October 22nd of 2020. God, it's yeah, it's only been a year, but fuck, it feels like it's been like three years of last, how the way the last year and a half has gone. Like, that part's only been two, you know, two years since this whole like COVID thing, but fuck, it feels way longer. Ah. Oh, hello, security. Flashing his little lights up here. Uh, so. I don't know. So, okay, so I had a Kenmore T680 when I first got here. And uh, so between November, December, January before I upgraded, I only did like 32,000 miles on that truck. Not not horrible, but not great. I mean, not average, you know, you, you kind of expect at least a minimum of 10,000 miles of mold. Uh, that's at least, you know, the minimum. Honestly, that's not enough for me. I want, I want more. Uh, but you got this truck on February 1st, which is a 21 Freightliner. And I uh, already broke 120,000 miles. I should put like a little, you know, note, I don't go home often, so there's that. But that it won't stop you from getting miles either way. If you can go home more often, you'll still get miles. Uh, it's, it's not uncommon not to have 3,600 miles a week here, even 4,000 miles a week. I, uh, from May to August, I pretty much had one 4,000 plus a week at least once. Uh, even 46, 4700. Jumping to 70, so it's not hard to do it. Uh, I'm also a night guy. Pretty much how, how, how you get those many miles is a good chunk of our customers here are you, you're gonna go there and get preloaded. Like, it's preloaded, you just get there, and then it's live unload in the end. So it's probably like a 70 30, like 70% preloads uh, on the, the shipper, and then you know, you're gonna live unload at the end. Uh, but there are some live on live loads on both sides. There are also some customers that if you run up, if you're ahead, if you are, if it's a customer work, they also load preloader trailers, excluding Walmart, because fucking Walmarts. Uh, if you're early enough, some customers will let you drop your trailer. So it could be a preload and a drop at the same time. Like uh, Tyson and Tolson, uh, if you're 24 hours there, 24 hours early, they'll let you drop it. And so, you know, things like that. But, uh, let's start with the bad. Ugh. Right now, I said I'm trying to keep a point, uh, like, it neutral, so we can apply this bulk company and lease purchase, but there's something that had to make it some bad at some point that only apply to lease purchase. Uh, like, one of the best to me is to pay here. Like, uh, not company, company get paid that's pretty good for the miles they run. I mean, you can easily make seventy, eighty thousand uh, dollars, you know, as a company guy here. Probably more. Uh, if you're a husband and wife team, way more. Because uh, you're gonna, you're gonna be abused a little bit. You're, you definitely get ran. Now, is it for dispatch? No, but the pay is. I, I pretty much don't turn down loads because I mean, otherwise, that's take. That's how you. Planners learn to dislike you, even if you're very reliable. It's like, 
I'm gonna keep tossing loads to this guy. I don't know what the hell he's gonna take. So make, if I make the job easy, because that way they don't have to think as much. I'm easy. Keep me at nights. Like nights mean I want most of my driving at nights. I, I prefer to load or unload early mornings, like seven to eight, seven a.m. to ten a.m. That I'd rather be m most of my driving overnight and unloading first thing in the morning, that or loading that way I can go to sleep. That's worked out about 98%, 97%. I mean, every now and then I, I have to suffer in just a few days. I'm not a day guy. I, I suffer sleep. Now, I don't go to Northeast. They have, I mean, don't have, they don't have very many Northeast loads, period. I don't really like the East Coast, period. I mean, I, I'm pretty much mostly west of 35, uh, uh, which also bites me in the ass fuel costs, especially right now. Uh, so that's another reason why I'm able to slam away miles. Uh, like in the last eight days, of the 3,800 miles. Now, I'm not on the same paycheck, but that tells you the last eight days, they keep you running. Uh, hell, this quarter two and quarter three combined, uh, I ran over 37, uh, I pretty much ran 39,000 quarter two, and in quarter three, I ran 42,000 miles. So if you put those together, that's over 80,000 miles in two quarters. That's a lot of miles. Like I said, I've only had this truck. Brand, I've had this truck brand new since truck first. Broke 120,000 miles. There's still two. No, there's still like what 13 weeks left of, of the 12 months for this truck. One year in this truck. So if I'm at 120, you know, 20,000 miles, and I, like I said, minimum is 10,000 miles. Pretty easy to get here. I mean, if you're not getting 10,000 miles, is it because you broke down or you just turned down way too many loads? So I can easily hit 140,000 first year on this truck. Uh, I know a guy that goes home every four weeks for four or five days, and he's still right behind me in miles. He's at like 130,000 for the year, 135,000. Which there you go, tells you right there. You can still go home and get miles. Now it depends on where you live. Uh, some areas, you, you know, you can go home and still get easier to get home, so easier to get more miles out that way too. Uh, like this company pretty much runs south. Now, obviously, I'm up here in Pacific Northwest. I'm up here in Portland, uh, but their main routes are 40 and 10. Uh, but I mean, they do they do Upper Midwest, they do Pacific Northwest. Not as much Pacific Northwest because you know there's old guys out here. Ah, it's winter is here. I don't want to do it no more. I don't want to go chain up or drive in the snow. I'm like, I don't I don't care. But that's the really the biggest gripe I have. Well, I mean, communication, but that's a fucking industry. That's an industry fucking problem. The communication in this industry, I don't understand why it's so bad. Like, it, this is one job you need communication. Why the fuck is it so bad everywhere you go? Like, it's very rare you find a DM, or planner, or staff, period, that communicates like they're supposed to, or they should, not supposed to, but should. Especially when you do your job to communicate. And then, like, I've never been late. Don't have any service failures. I've, I mean, I'm always early by hours. And I, by the way, I don't do 10 hour breaks. Nor do I do 34s. I don't do recaps, unless like, I, maybe for a day or two most, but it has to be like worth a damn. I don't feel like driving for less than seven hours. Really, it has to be about nine hours to be considered running recaps for a day or two, because I'm not gonna do that again permanently. So I run 70. And then, depending on the season, like I generally take shorter I do like 36 hours or so, 40 hours, because I wait till, even when my 34 is up, I wait till that, that night comes. So, if, like, for example, I got my last reset. Okay, I got in at midnight. That's when I started it. It was like 12.30 or 0.30. And then, that means noon is 12. Midnight is, you know, 24. Noon is, well, 10 a.m. is my reset's up. But I didn't leave till 20.00 that night. That's how I do my resets. And if I feel like it, I'll take, the extra, I'll take an extra day. So, I'm at least two days. Uh, but yeah, I still get miles. Uh, but, uh, I mean, they throw miles at me. I've proven myself to be reliable. Uh, planners recommend Planners fucking know me by name now. It's like, as soon as I see my truck, they, 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 I mean, if I talk, the people I talk to more, they, they know my voice, uh, cause I 
prefer to work directly with the plan as much as possible because I'm always trying to drop. That's, that's one thing too, it's a reefer company. I have, you get a lot of drops here. Uh, meaning like drops in the yard, they will let local guys deal, on, uh, deal with it. Uh, especially on the down south, you know, California, Texas. We got, we do got a local guy in Washington, we got a local guy in Arizona, there's only one. Uh, we got like three locals in California, or real four locals in the Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, like that whole area. Yeah. Um, so, I know this video is a little sporadic. I'm trying to like keep my like points kind of grouped up together and I kind of bounce back and forth and hit them. Oh, I, I, I'm a, I like to say I won't recommend this company to anybody to least purchase. Not necessarily because it's bad. I mean, it's not, not it, to each their own, I guess. But because I don't know, the, I don't know the person's situation. Like, what may work for me doesn't work for other people. Now, for company, sure. The outside about companies, it is considered force dispatch. Now, you can still turn down loads for good reasons. Like, I mean, obviously they can sleep, or you don't have the hours. Like those reasons. But, but you can't just turn it down because you don't want to run it. You know, it's like. Why the fuck are you here then? Like, I, I understand. Like, part of why I don't really turn down loads. Like, I, the only part, well, I turned down about seven loads in last year. Why? Most of them had to do with the deepest pits of hell, as they call it. These uh, deep uh, LA area, meaning like Compton, Carson, down Long Beach, down that area where as a night guy, I gotta drive fucking. Well, 60 miles is always two hours for some reason, at least, uh, to get sleep. At least. So, I mean, depending on when it delivers, depends on if I go in there or not. Now, if it's a place where I can go and get street parking, which is rare over there, then sure, I'll take it. It comes down to especially because, I mean, I don't sleep well as it is, so it comes down to, like, how tired am I and where is it at? So, like, that's where it goes. Uh, but like I said, I'm on pace for to break 140,000 miles in this for sure so now I will say there's there's some pros of this company uh, miles from one miles is definitely there here uh, this is gonna be the first quarter in the, in the year that I won't hit my bonus the 30,000 miles as a solo guy uh, but I'm only gonna be 3,000 miles short why 16 days of downtime in October so three weeks well two and a half weeks Because that 16 days, I mean, you got to wait till the following day. Because I mean, you, if you get your truck is ready to roll like six on the 16th day, but it's like fucking like t noon, you're not getting a load. I mean, it's, it's unlikely, but I mean, possibility but unlikely. So you got to wait for the, the next day. So 16, two and a half weeks. Uh, so, but those two and a half weeks, it's like six days, 7,500 miles. You know that I lost out on. I still hit 7,800 miles in October, and I only ran 15 days in October. But I missed it by that much. Uh, but these guys, I don't know, it seems to be like they're trying to change. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's. I had to actually talk to the big boss man uh, last week. Like, just randomly knocked on the door and asked him if I could sit down and talk. Cause they, they preach about that open door policy. I was like, I'm gonna test it. I had some ideas in my head that could improve the lease purchase. Uh, he liked some of them. There's a possibility we might be getting percentage here. I'm hoping. Uh, it, it gave me some good hope to that. Cause I mean, I may leave here. Either way, I'm leaving here within a year or two. But what may keep me here? Ah, cause right now I'm saving up money. Oh, you I mean keep me here is lease purchase. I mean, I'm more happy than unhappy here. And most of my issues here has to do with communication, not so much the money. Uh, I mean, my bills are cheap, so it's like that helps. But I mean, if you, had, if you needed to make a certain amount of money every week, then yeah, I, mean, I guess I can understand. Uh, uh, it's, it's, they're, they're really strong. I mean, it seems like they're trying to change. Or, or to, I don't know. Something's coming next quarter. I kind of want to see what's going on with that before I really decide what I'm doing. Because my, current, my plan is 
sit here for a year, either finance this truck for another year, maybe two years, finance this truck and go somewhere or just stay here. I'm just getting the balance down on this truck low enough where I'm not having to spend thirty thousand dollars, you know, the pause down payment to finance this truck. That's what I'm not looking to do. Uh, cause if five thirty thousand dollars thirty thousand dollars, what the fuck am I gonna throw it? Okay, I, I don't believe in down payments, period. That's just me. It's like if I'm signing a fucking loan con like a loan term, down payment should not be a thing. I'm already committing myself to this contract. I shouldn't have to put extra money down, like sign my put something extra on it. When I literally just signed it. Either way, you I mean, I like, sure I maybe mean, some guarantee, fine. But I mean if I've already been in this truck for a year and coming to come to the bank for after another year, so two years at that point, to finance this truck. I've already put fucking two years of my life into this truck. You, you think I'm just gonna willingly fucking just walk away from it? No. Not to mention, a eighty, ninety thousand dollar fucking loan going, you know, going against you in the collection. It kind of hurts. You think I'm gonna spend another fucking five, seven years paying that off? Nope. Nope. Not really. Assuming I can't talk it down much, because the only way they're gonna settle is I have to let it sit there for a year or two. But that's beside the point. So, and that's okay. I guess I'll break up the company a little bit. Like company, if I if I thought like if I put myself like I'm company driver now, like put like switched over like hey I'm company driver now, would I still recommend it? Like you know, I'm, from a company point of view, like instead of me not being lease purchase now, yeah. I mean, if you want to just come to a company where. You just want to run, and you don't want to really have to worry about you know the miles gonna be there or not. Uh, yeah, they got, I mean, obviously 120,000 miles in one year. I mean, I easily could have got more. Like there was unscheduled downtime three weeks in the first uh, quarter two. That's also when my mom, you know, was hospitalized and spent too much in the hospital, flatlined. Uh, I missed two weeks there. Uh, you know, spread out because I was also that's also when I took home time that quarter. Then about a month, a month and a half later, she got, I went home for that another week because of that. Plus, so they don't do recaps. You know, they've got easily a couple more weeks in there from the, the reset times. Uh, so I mean, I took part in like in the truck off time myself, and I still got miles. So as long as you, it just comes down, can you run? If you can run, then yes, I'd recommend this company. Uh, honestly, to point bluntly, I don't want more fucking unreliable drivers here myself because I've been fucked over by plenty in this company already. Like, they, they, they fucking lollygag their ass off and they need to be swapped. And I do less and less swaps now. I mean, it depends on the planner. It's, it depends on if I'm going to do it for it, for that planner or not. That has nothing to do with the driver. It's like, do I want to keep that planner happy with me so that way, because it's two way street. Although, one load. I mean, I've turned down a few swaps, so one, one swap uh, being turned down isn't going to piss them off enough when they fucking don't like me. Uh, I've been told plenty by all, multiple planners they need like 500 more of me, so... Uh, meaning just... Either way, I mean, company or lease, just guys I can run. Um, it just comes down to, can you run? If you can run, sure. I mean, if you want to do the math, just... Do the minimum 50 cents, so... I mean, 140,000 and 50 cents, plus there's bonuses at 30,000 miles. Uh, I mean, that's not much. That's an extra couple grand, like $2,500 most. I think my largest one was like 880 bucks. And I, I don't know, that's not, okay, that's nothing. I don't like the fucking way they do bonuses. Uh, I wish it was higher. Uh, it's, like, it's two cents of all the miles you ran in quarter. As long as you had no, no accidents, no ticket, because you also need to make sure you, like, for safety bonus, like you don't hit nothing, no, you know, no accidents, nothing. So it's like no tickets. I wish it was like five cents. I'd make it a little better. Because I mean, but uh, so I mean, if you do the math, fifty cents, and you've run one hundred forty thousand, forty thousand miles in your first year, that's seventy thousand plus say an extra two grand for bonus, seventy two thousand. It's not horrible money. I mean, that's minimum. Plus, I, I, I'm pretty sure you get like a three cents across your first year. Like, you get first three months, you get another cent, and then like a second uh, quarter, you get like another 
set and then eat the last one like in the year or whatever something like that something along those lines I, it's been a while since I looked upon the company uh, but it's not the greatest one year review I guess but I mean it's because you overall I guess like I said I'm mostly satisfied just some things I wish it would change Good luck on the communication one, though. Good luck. And, okay, day communication, I will say, day communication is not, that's not really the issue. It's the fucking overnights and the weekends. Those motherfuckers are useless. <laughs> Fair warning. I, I've waited hours to get shit done before. Hours, so. Like, it's great running nights, but, I mean, when you get, overnights is hard, and when you have people getting fired from overnights just because, Laziness, it's like that tells you a lot right there. But days are oh, the trucks are pretty much new too. Except for, I mean, this year is a little different. This year, I mean, everybody's starting for you know new trucks, and I mean, the trucks are spec pretty well. They all got APUs on them. Uh, I, I don't know how they do uh, maintenance as a company guy. Uh, I know you are you're pretty much filling up a flying J's all the time. So the one nine, the pilot flying J's, that's where you fell as a company guy. But there you go. I, I hope this at least answers some people's, you know, questions, gives a general perspective, I guess. I meant to do this video like last month, but uh been busy, tired. And these videos take energy too. Uh but yeah, you guys stay safe out there. Catch you next time.